BMW 220D Convertible M Sport 2017 Review. The 2 Series range receives a light facelift, enhancing its exterior and interior look, improving infotainment and adding more standard kit. What is it? The BMW 2 Series has undergone the latest wielding of the BMW Design Department's surgical knife, resulting in a facelift for all coupe and convertible variants, as well as the 1 Series they're based on. Here we focus on the 2 Series, which outside gets new standard LED headlights, adaptive ones are available as an option, a redesigned kidney grille, new, optional, LED fog lamps and restyled front air intakes. Further to that, three new exterior colors and four new styles of alloy wheel are available. The two series insides have been given a going over, too. The dashboard is completely new and has been angled more towards the driver, there's a new instrument display, the latest iDrive infotainment system features and so does new leather upholstery. A scattering of air vent, window button and cup holder enhancements complete the list. But there are no mechanical changes. As such, we're driving the 2.0-liter 220D diesel, which still produces 187 bhp, officially does 60.1 miles per gallon and emits 124 grams-km of CO2 in popular M Sport trim. What's it like? To drive, the 2 Series is as it was before. BMW's 2.0-liter diesel engine fires to smooth idly and paired with BMW's brilliant ZF Automatic, as our test car was, provides useful flexibility and decent outright pace, making it as pleasing a companion in town as it is when you're barreling along a roads and motorways. It could be quieter and transmit a little less vibration when pushed hard, but neither is bad enough to put you off. It remains a decent steer, too with a light but communicative setup that is still better on non-variable form, but certainly not ruined for having the box ticked. It's usual for a convertible to feel less agile than its coupe stablemate and that applies here, although the margins are small, the two convertible still feels urgent, composed and nicely upright in tight corners. It is, as it was, a more engaging drive than Audi's A3 Cabriolet. And, Perhaps more importantly in convertible form, comfort is still impressive. There's the odd shimmy over potholes, but compared with its open-top rivals the 2 Series is no worse, dealing with everything from deep ruts to scraggy stretches of high street well, particularly with our car's 